Okay folks, so it's Kenneth here with Repairs for Oats. Today we're going to be changing a drag link. The drag link is this piece right here and it's pretty straightforward on how to change it. You pull that cotter pin out, pull that cotter pin out, run those nuts off, beat it through, install a new one and you're good to go. Uh, however, you do want to turn your wheel all the way out that way you have access to this one because otherwise it is in here and after you get that beat out you will need to turn this back and to be able to remove this because it does hit the frame there and uh, it is usually better to try and knock this thing out while it's in this position so let's get to it um, you're gonna not have the best view of this one. You will be able to see this one. The procedure is exactly the same for that one. So let's get to it. There we go. Well, that's pretty straightforward. You'll need a pair of needle nose. In this case, the reason we are replacing this drag link is because of wear. I believe Tiger Tool makes a tool do this with. I do not have that tool, so I get to do it the old way. Yeah, the cotter pin is breaking off in tiny little pieces. There we got one piece. Here we have the other piece. All right, so that's out. Now we can work on this cotter pin over here. Now sometimes these are rusted in and you will have a terrible time getting them out. And half the time if that's the case, you're almost better off to uh, just break the cotter pin off inside of the ball joint. All right, next, I'm only an inch and 5 16 socket on a good impact. In my case, I have a half inch Capri impact, and it is generally enough for all my needs. So let's get to it. There we go. Very easy. Ran it right off. So, next you'll need a big old sledgehammer. I'm going to hit that straight on the top. There we go. That released. I'll break this one free. If you need to, you can throw some heat to this, which is probably what I have to end up doing. Uh, it's not desirable, but sometimes there's no other way. So, yeah, let's get to it. We'll, we'll grab a torch and heat that up, heat it right out. All right, so got the torch. Now we're going to 
going to and heat that up. And really all you want to do is just heat it up enough to swell that metal a little bit. You don't really want to get the ball joint hot. I mean, it's obviously getting it somewhat hot. But, uh, you don't want to get everything so hot that it loses its temper. If you've got gobs of grease everywhere, it's not a bad idea to uh, scrape off what you can. This one isn't too bad, so. Alright, let's try that one. And now you'll see what I mean. You turn the steering shaft, since it's not hooked to anything, you can turn it by hand out here. And since that's all I want, we'll just kick it out. And now we'll turn it back. There we go. We'll let that cool off a little bit. And so this is what the new drag link looks like. They're going to have these little productive cups on it and the part number if you're looking for it, this is through peterbilt is j20-6005 and that's the drag link comes with the castle nuts does not come with the cotter pins so now make sure make sure whenever you do this you have your grease fittings turned the correct way in this case you want the grease fitting pointing down over here you want it pointing in, or actually, yes, you want it pointing in over here. This goes up through, this goes in through. So just like this. And uh, yeah, I've seen them already where guys will install this with, let's see, how, did, how was that? this. Yeah, I don't even know how it's possible to install. Either, anyways, it was installed to where you couldn't get to the grease fittings. So, yes, it was like this. The grease fitting is pointing back, you don't have enough room. This thing is pointing up, you don't have enough room. So, make sure when you do it, grease fitting points down, grease fitting points towards the wheel. So let's go ahead and we'll grab some uh, never sees. And in your area, this might not be needed. Uh, however, we are on the East Coast, so salt is part of life and that causes rust. And if you don't do this, it doesn't come apart. We had one, oh, it was so bad we had to replace the whole arm, the pitman arm and the drag link. So, put that like that, stick her through. Oh, come on. 
as I should say, don't turn it back till it's in. There we go. Grab your nut, spin it on there just by hand. Now, be careful, it's still hot. And we'll grab some more anises. We'll do the other one. Now the threads aren't so crucial to get never sees on. I still do, but it's where it goes in through your uh, arm that is crucial. And no, it won't spin because it's it's you. If it spins, you didn't make it tight enough. Let's put it that way. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll turn this back. And you just turn this back by hand till your ball joint lines up. And then turn it in to bend your ball joint. That way you're not grabbing it with your hand. And there we go. Oh, come on. There went my nut. Oh, well, that's what magnets are for, right? problem right now the shop is so dirty well not necessarily dirty I mean it is a little bit but it's bad <laughs> it's bad I think it's on the other side of the truck actually and this the turbo yesterday so and I dropped a nut Don't underestimate the value of a good magnet. There we go. Now, grab that impact. Tighten her down. And you want to make sure that you line up the holes. There we go. So, this is a finished product. Looks pretty good. Well, that looks pretty good. We'll throw some grease to her and uh, might grab a little bit of paint, paint that up, where it doesn't rust. And it's good to hit the road again. But yeah, that's all there is to changing one of these drag links. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment. Hit the like button so I get out there for other people to watch. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Kenneth out.